Today guys, I am back in black, but it's not for us and it's not for YouTube. Today, I wear black for the Wall Street Journal because we have proof, overwhelming evidence that the images of brands' advertisements on racist videos are photoshopped, doctored, they're fake, and I have the proof. In our last video, I had suggested that the picture that the Wall Street Journal showed an advertisement on a racist video was perhaps fake. Have a look. I know, for example, that you can't put the N-word in a title of a video and not get demonetized. I know that. I know that. And I, I have to say I'm, I'm a little bit suspicious of these guys, and they've already proved that they're willing to fight dirty. Now, I got a lot of shit for saying that because I didn't have any evidence, and it's a little bit conspiracy theory. Why would the Wall Street Journal, a well-respected publication, lie or use shitty evidence to completely destroy a platform? I mean, we got a lot of kickback from our own community saying, Ethan, this, this, is, this is ridiculous. Well, you know this one's real. So let's start by looking at these Coke ads that ran on this video entitled Chief Keef Dancing to Alabama N-Word. I know that YouTube is not that incompetent. I know that, okay? And that, that's where that feeling came from, just being like kind of irrationally thinking about it. Like, this doesn't make sense. So this guy, Golag Bear, um, we were fortunately able to get in contact with him. And he, he was happy to oblige. So here is the lifetime earnings on this video from this guy, Golag Bear. Now, as you can see, this video over its entire lifetime made $8, okay? And it looks like it was monetized for all of three to five days max. It didn't make a single cent. It looks like he monetized it around September 1st, and it was quickly caught by YouTube's automated system that said this isn't appropriate. And you can see after the 16th, it completely flatlines, did not earn a single cent. So YouTube system works and this guy wasn't making any money. And let me just assure you that if it's not monetized by the user and if YouTube takes down ads as they did in this case, ads do not run on that video at all. The creator gets a cut. So the fact that he's not making any money on these days means that no money was made for anybody and no ads ran on it. Now let's go back to the Wall Street Journal screenshot that they publicized and perhaps were even sending to Coke. Let's have a look at that screenshot and see how consistent is it. So here's the screenshot with people enjoying Coca-Cola. And in this screenshot, it has 261,000 views. And that is as many views as it ever got in its lifetime. It, he also sent me his lifetime views on this video. So look at this chart here. You can see that it never had over its lifetime, it has 261,000, which means that they took this screenshot briefly, briefly before this video was taken down. That means that there were no ads running on that video at that time. The last time ads were running on this video was back in early September. That was seven months ago. So how is it that they have a screenshot of a Coke ad on a video that was demonetized seven months ago? This video in its lifetime made $8 over maybe five days at most. Where'd the screenshot come from, Wall Street Journal? Did you guys produce this screenshot? This guy, Jack Nika, suggests that he was taking the screenshots. Let's have a look. Now here's an excerpt on the Wall Street Journal's website entitled, Google's YouTube has continued showing brands ads with racist and other objectionable videos. And guess who's the author of this article? Jack Nikas, the guy whose Twitter account we were looking at in yesterday's video, and this one now, the guy who's posting these fake doctored Coke ads on racist videos. Let's have a quick read. Google's automated system placed ads on some of the world's biggest brands, including Coca-Cola, Procter & Gamble, Amazon, and Microsoft on five YouTube videos peddling racism and anti-Semitic comment according to a review by the Wall Street Journal. Asked about the journal's finding that their ads were still appearing with such content on YouTube as of Thursday night, Coca-Cola, Pepsi, Walmart, Dish said that they were suspending spending on Google except targeted ads. Starbucks, General Motors said that they were pulling ads from YouTube as well. FX Network, etc., etc. were all going to stop spending on ads. Here they, they refer to five YouTube videos peddling racism. Which videos are you talking about, Wall Street Journal? I assume that it's one of these screenshots posted on the guy who wrote the article's Twitter account 
And they say here that Wall Street Journal was the one who reached out to Coca-Cola, Pepsi, Walmart, and all these huge companies and asked them what they were going to do, which resulted in them pulling out. Furthermore, three of these screenshots came from the same exact video that we showed was not monetized. In fact, two of them have the same exact view count. How is it possible to serve two different ads to the same exact view? Update from Jack. Coca-Cola is pulling all non-search ads with Google in response to our story. Two separate Coke ads played before this racist video. Guess which video it was. The same exact video that we showed wasn't monetized. Better call Coke back up, Wall Street Journal, and tell them you made a mistake, right? Seems like some simple fact checks could have gone out to it before you completely demonized and destroyed a platform and the income of all their users. He continues, we are now at the part in this story where a reporter spends a few hours on YouTube and can spark big brands to pull spending on Google. He's suggesting that it's him taking the screenshots, right? That's what I'm getting. Over the past five hours, I found, I found dozens of ads of major companies on about 20 YouTube videos peddling racism. That's what he said, I found them, right? So let me get this straight, Jack. You took three screenshots, all on this one video. We've got Starbucks, Toyota, and Coca-Cola. And we're talking about this month, right? Because they all have essentially the same view count. This shit does not add up. And by the way, those are like the three most premium brands that all just happen to be running on this one very racist video in a, in a span of, what, 30 views? You can see the viewership only changed by 30. This video didn't have any ads on it made $8 over its lifetime. Last time an ad ran on it, seen it from the source itself. September of last year. What's going on, dude? Something doesn't fucking add up. You got some shit to explain, dog. You and the Wall Street Journal. Guys, send this video to Wall Street Journal. Send this video to YouTube. Send this to other news organizations and brands. This is the smoking gun. There's something fishy here going on and we need to demand answers from them because this is fucking our life up. This is war. Why is Wall Street Journal so hell bent on destroying YouTube and YouTubers? Well, all I have to say is, you know, this one's real, right? Little conspiracy theory, guys. Trust me, YouTube's not that incompetent. They do a lot of shit wrong, but they don't run ads on videos with the N-word in the title. I demand answers from the Wall Street Journal. I demand answers from Jack Nikas. I want to know what the fuck's happening. And, you know, they come at everybody. They've been coming at everybody, putting everyone's feet to the fire. Well, now, guys, it's your turn to answer for yourselves. This is bullshit. It's fishy as hell. And I want fucking answers from you guys.